We're going to talk about maintaining that level of attraction in a relationship and how to prevent boredom in your relationship. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome. My name is Erica Angelo and I've been a dating and relationship expert for men for 12 years. And basically what I do is I help you become the kind of man that she cannot resist without losing yourself, that's the most important part, or her in the process. So we want to keep things together. So listen, when it comes to attraction in a relationship, face it, boredom does happen. People get sidetracked with paying the bills, with, uh, you know, life's duties and taking the kids here and taking the kids there. And then the relationship becomes very gross, it grows dull. And you find two partners who were once madly in love, having tons of sex, all of a sudden becoming roommates. And listen, when you joined each other at that altar and said, I do, the last thing that you signed up for was we're going to live a life of boredom, of paying our mortgage and becoming roommates and having a sexless marriage. No one ever signs up for that, but this is what happens. So how do you maintain that level of attraction? Also, if you are new here, make sure that you subscribe and turn on the notification bell because it lets you know whenever I release these videos, cause YouTube's not going to tell you, but if you turn on that bell, it's going to let you know. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, you have to understand that it requires some practice, right? It's just like a person who goes to the gym. If they go to the gym for like the first year of their life and they never go back again, what happens? They get flabby. Things don't work as well. They start getting uh, aches and pains. They get flabby and then the body goes to shit, right? It's the same thing with a relationship. If you're not working it, if you're not practicing with it, it eventually goes to shit. It just does because everything requires energy. Anything that is important is worth investing your energy to. You invest your energy into your work, into your job, into your career, into your business. Why? Because it supports your lifestyle. And without doing that, there are severe consequences. It's the same thing in a relationship. When you're not investing in keeping that spark going, keeping the momentum going, keeping that attraction going to prevent the boredom, eventually it goes to shit like other marriages. And then what happens? Affairs, the woman starts bitching about things that don't even matter because her needs aren't being met. So here's the thing. One thing that you always want to do as a man, and even if you're a woman watching this video, is you always want to pursue your partner's heart. So here's the most important question that you can ask each other once a week. Hey, how am I showing up for your heart? Because when we ask that question, the real answers can come out as opposed to the BS of, I wish you would take out the trash more. You know, I wish that we would just not have missionary sex. It changes the whole paradigm. It goes around the problem. When you say, hey, how am I showing up for your heart? That asks like, Am I seeing you? Am I appreciating you? Am I valuing you? Am I holding space for you? Am I taking time to really hear you out? Why is this important? Because that is what actually facilitates connection. This is the actual glue that keeps the relationship together. Guess what happens when you have connection? What do you innately want to do? You want to hump like bunnies. Yeah, because you're feeling loved by this person. You're feeling safe by this person. You're feeling seen by this person. You're feeling met by this person. So of course, what's the next course of action? What's the natural thing that progresses from there? Sex. You want to have sex with that person. You want to do different things. And because you're able to ask that very hard question every week, how am I showing up for your heart? Guess what? in the bedroom, when it comes to attraction, you'll be able to ask those questions of, am I turning you on? What positions would you, would you like to try? What new things would you like to bring into our bedroom? You're able to have those courageous conversations because you started with the first conversation, which is how am I showing up for your heart? Guys, this is such a powerful question. It's a very simple question question. But like one of my clients said, he said, Erica, 
It's deceptively simple. It's such a simple question, but it's loaded and, and it can come with complicated answers. But this is real intimacy. What happens is we get tired of actually standing in the tension of, of intimacy and we want to take the easy right, route out. And so we start focusing on bills. We start focusing on things that, that add to our survival, but they do not enhance our intimacy. So start checking in with your partner, ask them, how am I showing up for your heart? Do this consistently so that you guys can create that connection. You can build the attraction. It can lead to your bedroom and it can lead to more intimate, powerful conversations and more powerful connected experiences. Listen, if my advice served you, then I highly encourage you to check out that link that says work with me, schedule a call with me, see if we're a good fit, change your life, change your relationship, change your marriage paradigm. You owe this to yourself. Schedule that call with me. And hey, in the comment section, answer this. Yes or no. Do you have the courage to ask your partner that very deceptively simple question? I can't wait to see you in my next video. And remember this, babe, you already have what it takes. You have it. I'm just here to pull it out of you. But know this, in this very moment, my darling, in the midst of everything that's going on in this world, that you, my dear, that you are already loved and that is the platform in which you build your life from. I'll see you in my next video. You take care.